All right, lads, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking a lot about W keying and how I W key and how it's different from the average pro player. I'm not a pro player, but look, I'm on the rise, okay? We're putting in effort, we're trying to get better. That's the whole point of this channel is when I grow and I get better, you grow and you get better. That's the benefit of watching this channel. So it would mean a great deal to me if you hit that sub button. We're on the road to 400, man. We're going to hit 350 by the weekend, guaranteed, man. You know why? Because I feel like we're going to hit 350. I just feel it in my bones, boys. But look, it's not about the numbers. It's about the support. It's about the community. It's about giving more than you get. That's what it's about over here. So I'm going to leave you with gameplay and some music while I talk about these tips. Uh, it's going to be banging. Make sure you hit that sub button for more. And we've got Dirty Docs breakdowns coming. And we have a Sweaty Sands breakdown coming this week. The Dirty Docs one should already be out. And it's like a video where, I mean, LootLake.net just... Basically picking spots to land at and how you're going to land at them, where you should land for solos, duos, trios, how to rotate out of there. Very good videos. But look, I'm not here to promote myself. I'm here to give some tips. W keying isn't just about going for kills. It really isn't. Like you can W key all game, but when you look at that leaderboard and you see people in first, in first place on the tournament and they've got like, what, 48 kills on the win. You know how they do that? They do that by playing smart. Okay, most of them kills... At least half of those kills will come from endgame if it's a stacker. And the other half will come from W Keen. And it's about smart W Keen, because look, I know that not everybody's a pro here. I'm not a fucking pro here. So if you are getting tips from me and I'm not a pro, you know, I, I I can't possibly give out the best information. I might be able to explain things better than them, but I can't give out the best information because I don't know everything yet. But I will know everything. So starting off, I smart W Keen. That's what I like calling it, okay? Smart W Keen. It's basically like right now we're in endgame okay we don't have many kills because it's a placement tournament okay we're just chilling we're still trying to feel our, our trio vibes first of all is comfort before you hop in someone's box or get on someone's wall you got to be comfortable like i know that's a weird word you're not going to be comfortable when you're one wall away from death but you need to be comfortable with that feeling and the more comfortable you get in them awkward scenarios the more adaptive you will get the more agile in a box fight you'll be able to get like look at me with window open here i'm so confident that i will hear a sniper shot before it hits me okay that's why i rarely get sniped now look the boys from the stream the other day know about me getting sniped okay and yes by the way if you're new here we literally are going to be streaming every tournament possible duos trio solos i'm going to do it unless i'm not playing it which i will let you know either on my instagram or discord but back to the back to the topic W key in the way I W key it, the way we're trying to learn how to W key, the process of being able to W key. Okay, you can't just st start off like, oh yeah, I'm a W keyer now. It doesn't work like that. You got to build it up. So I would start with what I'm doing because I'm only starting out on this whole W key and shit because it's fucking hard, man. It's hard. And a lot of pros like make it look so easy. And that's the point I want to be at on this channel. I want the skill to be able to back up what I'm saying. I used to, but you know, a six month break tends to like do that to you. So... Smart W keying is what I call the process of learning how to W key. It's basically taking smarter fights more frequently. It's not going out and aiming 15 kills this game. Let's do it. It's not that. It's the quite opposite. And you'll set yourself. Look, if we get five kills before end game, it's a W. Okay. That right there is a subconscious programming. Okay. I know a lot of you boys that watch the channel are young and you don't really understand this, but you're telling your subconscious what you need to look for going into a game. You need to look for five kills. And what you will notice happens is you actually tend to notice things about teams. And you're like, hmm, we need five kills before end game. And then we're going to need five kills during end, ge end game to get a 10 kill game. And we need to do that every game consistently with no scuffs for it to work, for the strategy to work. So you will start noticing, like you will still see those players, okay? You will see, still see those players. But when you have the mindset of like, um... Okay, we need five kills this game. We need five kills. Okay, listen to the words. We need five kills. You don't really need five kills, but you're telling yourself you do. So you will start noticing, hold on, this could be worth going for. This kill could be with these, these boys, this team, this trio, this duo, this solo could be worth going for because I need five kills. And from the players I have seen, they've all been cracked. And this guy does not look as good as them. I'm looking at him jumping. I'm looking at his movement. He does not look as good as the other players we've seen. So maybe... Go for the pick. You will start noticing that. Okay. Subconsciously. Part of the brain. You don't have control of that part of the brain. Only when you meditate. Which is some different topic type shit. But that's what I'm saying. You know. You can do shit like that. 
It's just, it's all about your mindset. That is the biggest thing that every pro has. That's the difference between semi-pro and pro is the mindset. Buga was not the best player going into that World Cup. He was not the best mechanical. He was not the best at aim. Well, he had a mindset, right? He had a mindset going into that World Cup. He thought to himself, I am going to win this. What did he do? He won it. Okay, it's a lot of that. Me, I was like, I'm going to get 300 subs today when I streamed yesterday. We did it. Okay, the boys did it. I didn't get 300 subs. The boys gave me 300 subs because they worked hard. I made the videos. I'm doing all, like, leg work. But them boys are working hard showing up every day. If no one shows up, this shit is over. <laughs> but look, WKeen, that's the process of how you get into WKeen. Is to just start off small and go big. One game, you get five kills. Don't do this in tournaments, by the way, when you're practicing it. Practice it in arena. You, you see my points, okay? That's why I'm talking about WKeen. Because I've done a lot of it recently, the last few days, to learn some stuff. My arena points went from, like, 8k to 4k to 2k. But now we're back on 3k, so it's all, it's all, it's all G. We'll get back up, don't worry. Next season soon. I'd rather be cracked for next season by WKeen in every game. Um, than going into the new season and being good. Rather than sitting in a box every game just to have a point on the bottom of my screen. Um, I guess a lot of you guys feel the same, you know? Because I don't play casual at all. Just I don't think anybody does anymore, but... I would not hop in a game of casual ever again, I don't think. Um, so yeah, start off small when W Keen and then work your way up. Work your way towards that goal of getting 50, 60 kills a game, whatever it is. I don't know, man. Aim for high kill games that way. And obviously, the more you do something, the better you get at it. So the more you aim for high kill games, more than likely, the better you're going to get at going for high kill games. I will have videos like in the future about... This is how I get high kill games and stuff like that. But I don't have the gameplay to back it up yet. I do have the script and the video ideas. I just don't actually have a high kill game to back it up. I had a 30 bomb the other week, a 20 bomb. Like we upload every so often just banging gameplays as well. If you're just here for that highlight type stuff, we do that. And we stream all the tournaments like I said earlier. But look, I'm going to leave you with them tips, okay? So for a quick overview, I want to leave you with this bit of gameplay. But a quick overview basically of WKeen is it starts small. That's small and get your mindset right. Look at some videos on that. Um, make sure you subscribe because I will do videos on that if enough people want it. So just leave a comment down below and just be like mindset or whatever type of video you want. I'll get back to you down there. Whichever one has the most likes, you know we're going to come with that video. And yeah, that, that's how we're going to roll with it. But basically, sorry, the last tip, the last tips I was giving out, I was giving out like a quick overview. Yeah, start small, get your mindset right. W key a lot in arena. Okay, smart W key towards people you know are worse than you. You're going into the fight with an advantage. Before you're at their walls, everybody needs to be beamed and scared. That's what a lot of players forget about is leaving pressure on teams and making them fear their lives. Getting someone griefed is a great way to W key. In endgame, you can still W key in endgame. It's just spraying walls. It's not the same type of W key. But it's still like pressurized W key where you spray someone's wall and the whole lobby's going to grief them when he cracks. That's another way of just cleaning out the lobby to get your placement faster. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave you with this last bit of gameplay. It's only two minutes. Basically, just like a little scuffed end game we had in Trio's tournament the other day. Um, this one was not live streamed, so nobody has seen it. Um, it was kind of scuffed. It was en route to be a solo clutch, but I just couldn't do it. Okay, Pressure got to me. Don't know why. But, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure you hit that like button so the video gets out to more people. Um, it's not for my ego at all and it's not for usually any YouTubers as long as they have good intent when they say hit that sub button it really does get it out to more people same with the, the post notice and stuff the more people that get here early is insane but look not gonna actually put post notice on or anything like that just hit the sub button man just hit the sub if you're this far but look have a good day and um, hopefully this video helped if so that's why you leave a like <laughs> I'm, messing. I'm out have a good one Oh. 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 oh yes. That was the last. Oh Jesus. There's a full trio down, I'm open the low. Two full trios down, no, I'm alone. You left the tier. Slow, 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 just get them mats. Got a hundred still though. Oh my god. What are you doing?
He probably made as much as well as you did. Oh, I saw he got my game. No, he's with his teammate now. Gave his teammate the mats. 